Should be a pretty good week because it's iPhone week, so I'm getting the new iPhone. And I'm just sitting down to start recording my uh, sponsored video from Panacy. And if you look over here, this box looks like it got a bit dirty in shipping. Like, I don't know why these ones didn't, but I usually I'll even do it with like Lego boxes. If I have like fingerprints on boxes now, I like try to clean them up <laughs> from all the smudges. So we're gonna see if we can clean them. Oh yeah, that'll clean up nicely. That looks way better already. So that is much cleaner now. They sent me five sets in total to use for the video. I'm most excited for the forest cabin, the gaming computer, and definitely Popeye. I remember watching Popeye as a kid. This Popeye ship is awesome. It's always cool to have some boats. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. I guess this is Metal Gear Solid 3. Metal Slug 3 is kind of the idea. I'm not sure. I don't. Maybe that's its own thing. I'm not super knowledgeable about that. Um, and then I've already done the Astro Boy. So as cool as the Astro Boy is, I'm not as excited for it because I've already done it. So Astro Boy is pretty sick. But yeah, I think, I think Cabin and Popeye are my top two though. It's Friday, so today Pearson, I think, is going to finish up this build from the Panacea builds, and then Ethan should be coming to build the Popeye set, which I just unboxed last night. It seems pretty cool. And of course, it's iPhone day, so we're going to go pick up the iPhone and then go to Orlando Brico because it's right near there. So the plan was to get a black iPhone, but when I got in there, I saw that natural titanium, and I asked the guy if we could switch it, and he was like, yeah, we have one left in like the size and you know, storage you want. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. And so I ended up not getting a black phone. I don't know if I'll regret that or not. I usually really like sticking with black because it fits everything, but we'll do, we'll do natural titanium. So I brought a couple of things to trade in at Orlando Brickco. So we're gonna see if I get any good money out of these and then I can buy something. Maybe those Fabuland figures that would never sell otherwise, I don't know. Probably not though. All right, I have $30 to spend. Let's see what we can get in the back room. I could get a first order battle pack, one of the bad ones. Um, these are not $30, they're 60. I don't have that kind of money today. $30, $30, this is probably $30. It doesn't have a price tag on it. So, no good. Ooh, poly bags. These are definitely less than $30, here you go. The Venator, no price tag. The Venator again, no price tag. What is with this store not having price tags on poly bags? Unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna try for these three. See what we can do. These will be like whatnot. Definitely the Venators will be given away and whatnot. All right, none of these have price tags. Mm, this is a 34. Let me just get the two Venators, put the tie back. Anyone got a $6 minifigure? I don't want to have any money left. No, I'm good on Fabuland, I actually have enough. Which would coincidentally be zero. It is unboxing time. Wow, that came off super easily. Flawless, just flawless. Wow, this, so this is the natural titanium color, which I was not gonna get, but they had in stock, and I switched out from black to this, which is like a nice kind of gray. In some lights it looks gold, which I don't, like I don't, didn't really want a gold phone, but I think it's more like silvery gray than gold, so very happy with that. Also, one of the biggest changes they made was making the edges a little more curved, and I'll tell you, that is gonna make my day-to-day -day life, because I use my phone so much way better i was holding it in the store and it felt fantastic compared to the sharp edges of some of the more recent iphone pros so that's nice it's also way lighter i think it's about 10 percent lighter than my current phone and again for someone that has it in their pocket obviously and uses it so much for for work that is going to make a huge difference for me mm, this is always the hard part you know you could start a new life basically you just pick a new language and go Definitely, definitely, well, no, I'm kidding. I'm not a psychopath. So the new phone has the action button instead of the mute switcher. And I think I'm gonna go with camera so that I can film vlogs better and easier and remember to do it. Bam, and vlog begins, cool. Saturday, I'm hoping to make it home to Melbourne today to pick up some more things from the house. But first I need to finish up this Venator review that I've been putting off so that I can get the set put away in some bins, but also like, I just, I need a video for today and that's the relatively easy one for me to do. So that's my project for right now is make a Venator review. 
Well, I'm back at home again, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to take anything out of this room today. I mean, I have sets I could take, but I'd rather get box things from the storage unit. It's a little bit easier to store, unless there's something I really want out of the garage. Yeah, all this stuff can stay here. I just, I don't need it today, so we're going to leave it. One of the main reasons I came home today, ooh, this is a little bit harder to access than I was hoping, but I need that Imperial... Hopefully it's an Imperial Starter Shirt box. I'm pretty sure that's the Imperial Starter Shirt box. It's been sitting there for four years. I never changed it. Unless it's the Falcon for some reason, it's the Star Destroyer. Um, but yeah, I need that box out of there. So I'm going to get that. Um, but I don't know. Do I like desperately need anything else out of here? Probably not. But like nice empty table space. I'd love to bring that Star Destroyer back today. But I really do not feel like trying to store it nicely in the back of my car for the drive home so not gonna do that today and let's just make sure that it is the one i need it is the star destroyer all right taking this home Ooh, a free lego set down there i think it's the reindeer one all right i don't really want that today i just want this so the Star Destroyer box is going to go on this side. The Venator I only brought home so I could do that bush picture you may have seen. But this has got to get in here somehow. All right. My brother and I made a quick stop. What? A U-Haul? I don't want to do all this at once. Anyway, we're just going to grab some things and, and go. I just get some boxes and call it good. Like this box. This is a good box to get. This will fit in the back of the car. I think I know what's inside. This corner definitely looks a lot better. We're bringing all this down to the car today, so that'll be something of a start. Matthew's distracted by the Minecraft brickheads and the color brains probably. they have. They have a red brain and a green brain. All right, let's go. Time to, time to skedaddle. Just wrapped up my Ask M&R filming for the night, so thank you guys for all the questions as usual. But yeah, we gotta get this footage on the computer and upload it to the Dropbox. Uh, put a blanket over my gunships because I didn't want them to start getting dusty. And then I also was able to get the Venator put away, which entailed taking all of these boxes off so I could literally reach the bottom one. So that was a bit of a pain. But we did it, and now it's in its nice storage. On today's to-do list, we are building the Ahsoka Starfighter so I can finish this review for tomorrow. I really need to finish the Venator and Star Destroyer comparison so I can be done with... I'll be done with the Star Destroyer, but the Venator, I still need to do another comparison with the UCS gunship, which isn't even in here, but... I, I still have one more piece of content that I definitely want to make on that. If there's anything else you really want to see, let me know. Maybe I'll do a mod video. I've been waiting to do that stuff. I just haven't gotten the parts. But very excited to build this Ahsoka Starfighter and Vulture Droid. Except for the part, the fact that like all these red parts might crack as I go. I'm a little scared about that. So one of today's big goals is to try and get some website items listed for mnrshop.com again. Ever since Spotify took me off Spotify for whatever reason, I just haven't had the website up. So that was an annoying thing that happened, I think, back in like May. It's been a long time, but I'm finally going to get on top of that. But basically what I was going to do is empty off this table and lay out each of the items that we plan to list on the website so that we can go through it and do it well. All right, Pearson's been doing some product shots. Ooh, hello to the face. Damn. Yeah, those pictures really let you zoom in. Yeah, that's nice. Buy these, mnrshop.com, please. I don't want them. <laughs> Actually, I do like these ones. I do want these ones. Buy the 212th ones, though. Get those out of my house. So I got a lot of requests to compare the Republic Bricks vendor to the official LEGO ones, so I finally took the time to fix the Republic Bricks one, and I'm going to make a YouTube short for MNR Productions that will be this vendor compared to the official LEGO ones. So I think that'll be interesting. Uh, it's a huge size difference, but actually, I kind of, the aesthetics of, like, the color and the way the, the plates and the studs kind of go together I think is actually a little better on this one I think I like it more but obviously if I was going to have one in my collection I usually jump for the Lego one and I would in this case I just there's something about the way the top side of that looks that I really like it has other issues though don't worry today I finally got the rest of my adhesive tape so I can finally put it between the other doors see how there's no gap in that door but there is a gap in that door and there is a gap in that door. I oh, know that's not a door. Uh, this door has a gap, see? So this is supposed to go in between to take that gap away and then dust shouldn't be able to get in as easily, if at all, ideally. Just gotta get the strip off. You have the adhesive side on one side. We're gonna start at the top, work down, and then cut off the bottom, pretty simple. So now you will see no gap on the door here. They close almost perfectly. I think at the top, 
might still be a small gap up there. I can't see it very well, so you guys don't have to tell me. Well, I, I'll be able to see when I look at the video footage, I guess. But um, there's still a small gap down here, so I think I need to adjust the doors slightly, which I'll do later. But obviously, that is significantly better than this type of gap. So we are almost there. We're very close to dust-free. I'm not sure if what's left here will do the whole length of one still or not, or if I have to get the other roll, but I'll check it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it will. It will. That's beautiful. This one looks even better than the last. I don't even think I see a sliver of a gap on this one. So the doors are like perfectly late. Like you can't, you can not see any light coming through there. So that's awesome. So this one needs a slight adjustment on the door. I think you can see there, you see that white sliver. Don't see the same thing happening over here. So very, very pleased with the outcome on this. Um, so yeah, this should uh, shore up these and I, I don't think I have anything else to do with these shelves and then maybe make them look a little bit nicer, but also um, I need to like clean them out heavily. There is like some dust that was in there already, um, but obviously shouldn't be like moving around. So like the sets should be still dust free, but like I need to go in, clean everything up perfectly and then reset everything. But yeah, yeah it's coming together pretty well here. I think I mentioned I need to dust everything in here. like. You can maybe see some dust on the like window and I think some of it's on the inside from just how long I had these out. So I'm gonna do a deep clean on these shelves this beautiful Friday. That's my goal. You can also see like leftover like wood bits from when we drilled out the hole for the, the lighting. So clearly it needs a little bit of cleaning, which I'm gonna do and hopefully also work on that uh, Venator and Star Destroyer review comparison. I don't know why I spun that way, but I'll spin back the other way. I realized I should probably see what cleaning supplies I have at my disposal. Can't go wrong with Lemon Pledge. Uh, definitely gonna need some glass cleaner. What else did my mom make me buy? Goo gone? No. That's all I need. And some paper towels, I guess. So I really don't know where I put my extra strips, but the other thing I need to fix is these gaps on the top because dust is gonna like pour in through there, like especially as the AC goes, you know? So I essentially wanna lay another strip over the top, but this one goes too low to really make that make sense. So I might just put it on the doors over the top and then it like basically lays over it. I guess it doesn't really matter, just I need to basically cover that gap because the doors are slightly not perfect and that's fine. Like this doesn't make it look bad, but it's definitely gonna let some dust in. So we wanna solve that little hole there. This is my equivalent of Darth Vader's helmet going on in like episode three scene. Uh, so yeah, just like that. And then that covers over the gap now, instead of like sitting flush and maybe still having a gap, it just covers it up. Uh, looking good there. So yeah, I'm very proud of this. I think that's gonna work and everything in the middle is gonna be sealed obviously because it's so tight there. So there technically would maybe be like a small gap at the bottom, I'm not sure, but like dust isn't getting in the bottom, it's fine. Yeah, there's like a, it's a little hole there. There's a little a wee little hole, but whatever. I'm not super concerned with that. So the current process is go shelf by shelf and get all of the dust off if there is any remaining dust after having uh, cleaned it out, obviously like, there might be a slight bit, but like, that's under the sticker. Like all these sets that I put in here a month ago look pristine still, so that is a good sign. There's just a little dust that was already on the shelves from when we put them together that's just sitting at the bottom, but everything else looks rather clean and nice, except this. This came out of my old bedroom. This has got to get out. This is a, a dusty disaster. This one I have to buy a new one of if I, if I want a clean one because <laughs> it's dark or old reddish orange, whatever, reddish brown orange. Uh, so it's bad, but everything else is uh, looking spiffy in here. So we're gonna start putting things back in. Also, I met someone at the watch party last night and he said you could put the UCS ATAT -AT in these. Like obviously I just have to like take a shelf out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can size it up because I'd love to be able to put one in one of these. That'd be so sick. As you'll see, the room is becoming quite a mess as I'm looking for sets that I want to put inside of the display. And oh, it's, yeah, it's doing the thing. But uh, yeah, this piece apparently goes here underneath. So I was looking to figure out where this little pink thing went and it's under here, which is weird. I don't know why I so strongly felt the need to check if the Venator from Republic Bricks would fit. I mean, I know the Lego one won't fit, but I, like, I was curious if I could just fit it on a shelf, it'd be nice. So I decided to move Yavin out of the way and not pick it up the right way, because I just, I, why? Like, why would I do that? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But now I have to pay the price. Oh, well. 
it'll take a minute to fix, but uh, yeah, it doesn't fit, so lesson learned. It's now fixed, and I decided to add the Avengers Tower because it looks kind of cool. Although the blue, it kind of makes the wall blue, which I'm not in love with just because of how much uh, transparent blue there is, but I think it'll still work. Maybe I'll move it closer to the middle, but either way, um, I, I think having this here because it's so tall is like really nice to have. I found it in one of the bins. I was like, this is going in for sure. My final additions were these Rex and Cody helmets, and that should complete my project for the day with completely dusting and placing everything I want in these shelves for now. I mean, I, I think it's a little bit messy looking because I didn't make everything like mix with like eras and colors and everything, but I'm still happy with it. Like it all fits in a nice way. And uh, got a little Indiana Jones down there, little Avengers up here. I don't think I put any Harry Potter in. Um, but obviously uh, very, very predominantly Star Wars. And I try to do like a rare shelf. I want to do a better rare shelf. I have tons of rare items, obviously. So in the future, I'll probably wipe the, the stuff off there and put it on like a different shelf or um, more ideally when I have more shelves around, it'll go on a different one. You know, I just don't know which one yet. So very happy with today's progress though. I don't know where I might actually apply this, but I think it's a really good idea and it looks pretty neat if I could get every battle pack sealed set up like that. So maybe something in the future I'll handle but you know it would look really nice on an exposed shelf like this or maybe even in the glass encased ones but the middle would be blocked that's why i wouldn't want to do that so i had an epiphany about what i can use a lot of these empty bins here for and that would be kind of excess stock but not the excess stock that's in there there's better stuff downstairs this giant box has been in the corner of my living room for months and i realized i could just put them in here and then store them somewhere else and that would probably be better so that's what i'm gonna do so many figures though. I don't actually know if they'll all fit in the ones that I have, but I'm gonna try. I should have a couple smaller bins that we can put the rest of those into and then it will all be stored perfectly. Well, I have one. I'll take, I'll take one. I don't see another one out there, but we'll take one with a lid and give that a shot for now. I forgot the floorboard here was a different color than the rest of the floorboards. I have no idea why, but when I bought this house, this one's gray, like grayish, and these are brownish, I guess, if I was gonna give a tone to it. And there's a dead ant there, nice. So I need to get still like a display stand to put in this corner, but uh, yeah, at least the, the box is gone. And then I figure I can put all these Yavin sets in the garage until I get to that Yavin mock video that I really wanted to do that I've been dragging my feet on, but I've already spent all the money for it. So I need to just do it. The stock room has been getting some heavy work and it's looking real nice. Next order of business is add a bunch of AATs up there because they're just in these boxes and need to be removed so the boxes can be thrown out. I just, <laughs> I just got recognized in this COD lobby and I'm doing like an accent and the rural living guy goes, yo, m &R Productions, this guy a Lego fan or what? <laughs> yo. Rural living, I'm literally the, the m &R. I don't think I'm cool enough to have people steal my name for a game account. <laughs> Thank you. I've been playing COD for like six hours, but shout out Rural Living. That was awesome. Yo, Ace, that was a great idea to play, play SND. That was a great idea. It's 4 a.m. and I've been doing more cleaning of this room and stuff, but I played Call of Duty for obviously a long time, and I just realized at 4 a.m. that tomorrow morning is the Venator release. And while I don't necessarily need a UCS Venator because I have one downstairs, I'm just using that as a prop, I do need the holiday diorama set, so I was hoping to go get that in the morning, but I guess I'll just go in the evening. I'll go at night. The holiday diorama ain't selling out, but this room is not gonna clean itself, so all these boxes need to be organized and put in the right places, but like this room here is beautiful, so I'm happy I took the time to do this. Yeah, it is coming together slowly. Well, this one's pretty much done. I don't really have to do anything else in there. Well, I should turn that off and close that. I ended up waking up at like two, the Patriots play at 4.30, so we have time to go to the Lego store to get the holiday diorama, which I should probably call ahead and make sure they have first, just to be extra safe. Well, I called and they are actually sold out of holiday dioramas. I did not consider that to be a possibility given it's a sequel set. They must have just not gotten a lot, honestly. I, I cannot imagine that set actually sold out at like any reasonable quantity, but I'm sure the Venator sold out. I heard some stores got as little as seven, who knows, maybe even less at other stores, but seven was the lowest number that I heard, which is not a lot for a release day of a 
15 year anticipated set, but that's Lego for you just generally across the board, not even like a Lego Star Wars thing. It just seems to happen every time. So I've basically gotten this room completely clean now. I think it looks great. Uh, so now we have a good working space for the next few weeks as we enter the grind of October, November, December, you know, fourth quarter. And the next room that needs to be cleaned is here. So this room is obviously a little bit more important to my day-to-day -day video production and it's it's also a bit messy. I just need to get like stuff like this that I'm not making videos on needs to get out. So I'm gonna get all that kind of stuff out. This corner is okay, you know, but I need to like kind of get this clutter fixed up. I significantly condensed what we had in this area. So all the gunships are now under there. I realized I also had the tumbler under there. So I moved that out of the way now. And then this fantasy video needs to be done this week. So all of that's gonna just kind of stay there anyway, cause it's just, just not going to bother moving it, but got to get that gunship comparison and that comparison done so I can get those boxes put away too. But this room is definitely a lot cleaner now. I can record my Ask R, so feeling pretty happy about that. I just realized it's October, which means I get to bring out the good pillows. Oh my God. I totally forgot to do this today. Yes.